Hey guys, Josh Plates here. And what I'm about to tell you about is something I've been kind of keeping it down low for the past couple seasons. And, well, let, let me first give you this dis disclaimer. Don't take your normal X-Series, Rush, Reflex, any call like that, do what I'm about to show you. You want to make sure that it's already got a crack, it's got a chip in it, it's got something wrong with it, or you find it on Facebook, because, I mean, surely you can pick up a cracked insert cheap on Facebook. Surely there's some guy out there that doesn't quite know what he has. So, I had something like that kind of happen to me a couple years ago. And I started thinking, well, instead of just ordering a new insert, what if I mess with it? And then I started thinking, what is an insert actually used for? It's, and there's three main reasons. One is for tone, two, back pressure, and three, volume control. And I started thinking, well, what would happen if I just basically ran an insertless call or how first off how would you do that but secondly what would what would be what benefits could you get from having not much of an insert on it and the answer is a really really unique tone because I did that I broke a call a couple years ago and I just took a bandsaw and cut it off about there's about three-eighths of an inch there. That's about all that's left on this insert. And basically, I've killed a ton of geese with this thing. It's really, really unique. And there's three main times that I use it. One is when I'm hunting really little geese. We all know those little squeakers that just pop off at a million miles an hour. They like a call ran really, really fast. And that's how you get them down to the decoys. This call is perfect for that situation. Second when it's really, really late season and those geese have heard everything. There's a bunch of really pretty good callers in my area. We hunt a ton of pressured geese. We gotta have something that stands out, man. I mean, we've gotta do something a little bit different in order to get those geese into the decoys. And third is when I'm hunting with a group of callers. Now, it can be hard to control a group of better callers. Not everyone's always on the same page. Everyone's trying to turn geese on with a comeback at some, with something else different. Team calling can really kind of be a challenge. So what I do is I'll use this call in order to sound completely different to be able to control those geese. So they, so all those other callers are basically making the that wall of sound with their call. And what I'm doing is coming through and bringing up the tempo of that comeback and really controlling those birds. I've seen it a bunch of times where I can really, really dial in and control the flock with this call because it gives them something to listen to. They can hear that cadence over everyone else and they'll listen to me and they'll do what I'm telling them to do and that's come back around, finish into the decoys, set up, per straighten up. You get the picture. So those are the three instances I really like to run this call. You're probably wondering what it sounds like. Now, this call is has a lot more pop to it it's got a lot of pop it's a little bit higher pitched and it's just got an overall unique tone i'll blow it for you guys a little bit Now, one thing I gotta say, this call does not have much low end. And that's one thing that you get from the insert. But I'm not saying go out and just buy a call to do this with. I'm saying if you can pick one up online for dirt cheap, because who's gonna buy or who's gonna try to sell a chipped insert for half the price of a call online? No one. So, I mean, you should be able to pick one up on Facebook for like 15, 20 bucks, maybe somewhere in there and really experiment with this thing. It's really helped, it's really found a niche in my calling that I really didn't know existed. I didn't really know that I'd use it until I actually had it. And once I've had it, I can't imagine not having it in certain instances. It's not a call that's on my lanyard all year, 
but there's a, definitely a certain time when you need it, and when you need it, you'll know, because these birds respond to it awesome. So if you come across one or you have an unfortunate accident where you're chipping an insert, cut it off, give it a try. That's what it looks like up close. I'll take the barrel off so you can see it. And that's all it is, guys. Just a little bit of an insert. Just cut clean off with a bandsaw. And tuning-wise, you leave it about normal. I mean, it's probably a little bit heavier than a normal reflex, but that's just a blow call heavy. So give it a shot. See, see, what, see what you think.